Hello, this is a short video on how to create subheadings and pages in Wiki. First thing I want to show you is the edit button. We have a master edit button up top, which will edit the entire page, or we have sub edit buttons, which will edit specific topics and all the topics underneath. Let's go ahead and focus on one topic. If you click on it, you'll go into the edit mode. If it doesn't look like this, which is like a Microsoft type of interface, you need to click on which editor if it looks like this. This will allow you to edit much like you would on a uh, word processor. First, so first thing we want to do is I want to create a subheading. I come over here, I click on, I create a new line. I type in what I want. So, uh, page one. I'm going to highlight that text and then I'm going to select heading two. That's because this is heading one, and this is one beneath it, which is heading two. After I've done that, I'm going to come in and I'm going to type in uh, a block of text. This is, oops, our mission. And then now I want to create a page. So in order to create a page, I would go here, this link, insert and edit link. This allows me to create a new page of information. When I click on it, it pops open a window. I can start typing and naming the link. Basically, the, whatever I type will be the page title. So I'll call this mission example. And you can see that as I'm typing, other pages that already exist with that same title will start to pop up. In this case, I'm creating a new one, so I'm not concerned about linking to another one. Once I'm done, I hit OK. And now the page exists as a underlined page. I scroll down to the bottom. I hit save page. Now that the page is saved, you can see we have in our table of contents here, mission goals, and directly beneath that we have mission one, which is nested underneath mission and goals. So you notice that the page is red. That means it's there, ready to be filled, and it's empty. So we click on it, and then now we can start typing information for this new page. So this is our example. And in this page, just like any other page, you can start formatting it with different levels of heading. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to show you how different headings look at each level. And there we have it. You don't have to start with heading one. You can always start with heading two and go down further. Whichever one is the highest will be in the highest rank order. Now I'm going to save the page. And you'll see how this page looks now. Empty. So let's say I want to add something to heading three. I, instead of editing the entire page, I could just hit edit on the heading three. And I can see you can edit heading three and heading four. So beneath it, I'm going to cr create a link to a page. And I'm going to link an existing page. So we can call this um, uh, let's see, um, history. And I hit OK. You'll see that I'm actually linking to an existing page in the past. And that's how you create and link and create a hierarchy of pages.